hi viewers in this video we are going to implement the card information tab so now i'm going to log in and now see the demo first this is the card in here we are going to implement this top uh, in, uh, the card shopping info tab okay so here the user will be select the type of the order type of the order and here is the address uh, the delivery address okay and means sh uh, shopping address and order types okay and here is the contact information of the user will be show here so let's get start and implement step by step this shopping info tab now open your project and then go to the browser and write here code with ilia soft code with ilia soft and then scroll and go to this blog code with ilia soft dot blog spot dot com okay so now next here is the post online restaurant website part 37 shopping cart info okay so now we are going to open this post okay uh, if you not see here this post then go to here the project okay now close first thing go to the project and then go to the online restaurant website and now see here and then find this one post uh, which is the online restaurant website part 37 and shopping cart me okay so now uh, simply click and go to this post okay so here you will, uh, will guide that how you can implement the shopping cart info tab so in this video are going to implement the shopping cart info tab for more detail watch the complete videos uh, so here first uh, we are going to open the project and then we are going to add this uh, property to the card mv um, mo uh, model okay so here is the card mv model um, so now let's go to the uh, home controller or go to the model and then click on the card mv and just add here this property which is the here is the type of this property is string and uh, this is the just is the category okay this is the stock item category nothing okay so the next we are going to add uh, uh, the shopping cart mv model so here is the current user detail and uh, here is the card items of the user which is login and this is the information of the user this is this information will be stored inside in this uh, property okay so now next this is the user address id means on which address this uh, order will be delivered and this is the type means the order type is pickup on delivery means its order is a pickup or on delivery okay so let's create this model so now simply go to the model and then right click here and add this model now i'm going to add the shopping card mv and next add these properties to this now first i'm going to add these properties these are the properties okay so these are the item of the card and here is the user info this is the user id and this is the order type id next uh, we are going to call the current user detail here so in a constructor we get the user id okay so now integer and this is the user id and next here we are going to call the current user detail get the current user de detail from the database and store inside in this uh, property okay so now i'm going to copy this the first line is the initializing the property of this and the second one is okay now add here also the db context class so all db context class is uh, i'm going to just go to the uh, home controller and now copy this db context class and now add here just okay and this is the db so i'm going to copy this name and paste it okay so that's it so this one is the initializing the card item property means object initialization the next one is getting the 
uh, current user detail from the database and store inside any subject and then we are going to one by one getting the detail which is required means first name last name contact number email address from this object and store inside in this uh, object user info this is also the initialization of the user info properly okay so that's it uh, next you are going to update the you know, code of the uh, view stock so you now close this and go to the order controller so here i have a uh, control order so here we are going to add some code uh, this cat this code will remain same and here we are going to add the shopping cart mv model okay so the code is already in the blog so here is the view card action update code okay so here i am going to get uh, i am going to create the shopping card mv okay so this one so now here that's it the this is the user detail so here is the user detail and the next is the card id okay if it is not null then uh, get the detail okay uh, from the card item detail so uh, but uh, for simplify the video i'm going to copy this code and then we will discuss okay so just copy hold the code of this action view card now select this and replace the code okay okay that's it first this is the che checking the user is login or not this is the card get first user uh, the user card inside in the card table and in shopping card uh, object okay this is the user login user detail and in the card id uh, so f card the card id okay so we are getting the card id from this object okay so this card id will be checked and get the card item detail from the database and then it's assigned to here the shopping card dot card item uh, dot dot add one by one okay here and this is the stock item also the detail of stock item means image of image um, uh, size and so on okay so here is the card uh, item id stock item id and this one is the stock item category which is updated in this video the remaining will same okay and also this okay this is the deal and this one is the uh, this one is the item and that is the deal okay so that's it and this is the view bag where user uh, select our address means on which address to deliver this order and this is the order type backup or on delivery okay so that's it the next we are going to the view and uh, we are going to update the view okay means add the uh, shop uh, shopping info tab okay here so first we are going to add here the link when you click on the shopping info uh, tab the tab will be appear so now i'm going to copy first that line which is this one okay so now copy and then go to here and paste okay that's it the next uh, here the, this one is the this one this one tab okay now let me explain okay now select here this one tab okay and now collapse okay here we are going to add the another table which is the uh, shopping info okay and the name of this tab will be the uh, tab info okay tab info so now go to here and copy the code of tab info this is the tab info okay the id of this tab is tab info so now copy and uh, whole code okay and now go to here and paste here okay that's it so now see this is this tab is a uh, the tab card this is the tab info okay and we are going to also change here the in uh, the uh, model of the view okay so here we have a model of the view is the this one shopping card mv so shopping card mv now go to here and uh, change this no paste here that's it okay so inside in the shopping card uh, uh, shopping card info means tab info here is the order id here is the user id okay now let's me close and again open. then the error will be disappear okay now see here this is the uh, 
here is user select the order type and our address delivery address and here is the user information means first name last name email and phone number okay and these are the tab card and tab uh, payment we will implement in coming video okay this so let's check and run and now run the application and go to the view card So now the application is run. Now login. And then go to the card. Uh, okay, dashboard. Here is the card. Okay, so here uh, you have a uh, model and uh, okay. Uh, here is the does not contain the definition for count and no accessible extension method count. Okay, so now go to the code and uh, here we have a here this one okay so now dot uh, card items okay that's it and now again refresh the next is model okay now we are also change this okay that is the uh, card item that's it and next uh, okay that's it now just refresh okay that's it so now see here there is the total okay if uh, i'm going to minus this one now see here up again i'm going to put, okay that's work perfectly uh, so uh, this is the shopping info so now once i'm going to click here the data will be appear here so this is the delivery and pickup Okay. and here is the address of the user okay so that's it and this is the contact information of the user means in yours and this is the first name this is the last name this is the uh, email address and that is the contact number of the current user so if you like the video please subscribe to be the last of routine channel like and share